So I could be obvious and tell you where I'm at, or I could let the lens show you. But the vitamin shop, which I talk about a lot, I used to talk a lot, a lot more when they were a publicly traded company and I used to be able to get access to their reports every quarter. They were gracious enough to invite me to their annual brand summit where they invite all of their health enthusiasts, the managers of all their locations. They have some of their uh, corporate staff. They have all their leadership team, their management team kind of here. And they're all you know, kind of coming to Dallas to learn from the brands that are kind of here. Plus there's more brands, do a bunch of education on new products coming out, new ingredients coming out, new trends coming out, which is why they asked me to come. So tomorrow I'm gonna to be speaking on a panel and we're gonna be going over just a number of different like trending topics that are going on in like the supplement industry overall, some on the business side, some on the content side, some on the product side. Um, hopefully I'll be able to say a few smart things and kind of weave those things together. But that's generally why I'm here. Maybe we'll catch some other content, some other like things, maybe some friends will be here. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what we're gonna get it ourselves into, but we're gonna bring you along for the ride. We normally have no idea where we're going when we come to these shows, but for whatever reason, we seem to beeline towards where we need to go and we, we don't get lost. That didn't happen today, we got, <laughs> we got lost. Should we show them where we're gonna speak tomorrow? Yeah, Just because I feel like it's good to see like the scale of it. And my dad brain, uh, again, for those maybe that don't know, I just had a kid a month ago. So like, I'm just totally not here. A um, little bit nervous that all of a sudden I'm gonna be speaking in this massive room. Like, can you get the scale of that? I feel like we're going back to like the Armada building where like, yeah. couldn't get the scale of it. <laughs> How many football fields is this? I don't know. <laughs> Wonder what like the football field like equivalency. Cause like most people when they're looking at like very big spaces, like, oh, you know, like five football fields or 10 football fields. I don't know how many football fields this is, but it feels like a lot. This is going to be um, a pretty cool, I think, little setup here. I don't know, it looks like maybe thousand people. I don't know, it's a lot of people. So I probably need to like shake the dad brain out and be able to like bring some fire because I'm gonna be on a panel with Ben Kane. You guys know Ben. Danielle Masterson. Again, if you've uh, watched a lot of my videos, you've seen me uh, or her actually probably interview me, but she's gonna be up there with me on the panel. And we're gonna be talking to a ton of vitamin shop health enthusiasts, a lot of their employees. We are gonna be giving them, I don't know, like a lot of like the trends, a lot of the, I guess the state of the union of, of things that are going on. Um, for whatever reason, they call me an expert. I don't know, I don't know if I am an expert, but I'm gonna try my best to give a little bit of expertise. We'll see what happens, cause it's gonna be early two in the morning, so. Oh, that's what, so we need to find an experience room somewhere. We need we need some Cognizant, C4 Smart Energy if they got them. If not, Ghost Energy. You know, somebody's gonna give me an energy drink. They better, <laughs> cause I'm gonna be struggle busted if it's not the case. I don't feel nervous right now, so that's good, but we'll see because this is like pretty decent production. This is a lot better than our point and shoot uh, little <laughs> camera that Grant's got going on here. It's not the uh, size of the dog in the uh, fight. It's the fight in the dog. Wise words from Josh. Wise words from, yes. <laughs> dad advice. <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden I'm gonna start a dad podcast probably. I'm gonna start like telling everybody I know. I, first of all, I don't know anything about dad life. And, and anybody that says they do, they're lying. Also a good thing just to know in general, if you think you know anything, you're wrong. Uh, you just scratch the surface of it. So I just hold that into all parts of my life. I don't know shit. I just sometimes act like I do. I'm like, I should ask, is it gonna break? Exactly. <laughs> I <was> like, <laughs> so I have to do this whole clip like this. So what I wanna talk about is Popsicle. And why I wanna talk about Popsicle is because it was owned by Good Humor. You know who Good Humor, where they started at? Youngstown, where am I from? Youngstown, okay, there we go. <laughs> Done. <laughs> So I'm just gonna loosely mic you now. Tomorrow we'll be fishing inside your shirt a little more proper. So I'm gonna grab you right about there. Mm -hmm. I'll wear a collar tomorrow too. I appreciate that. We're gonna be cozy. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. You guys feel okay? You're yeah, that's enough room. You're okay. Now. <laughs> Challenge to feel comfortable because there's no armrest, but you're not out here that long, so um, it kind of shows off here. 
the big one. Oh, cool. Okay. All right. Well, I'll take that compliment. There you go. Take it out like this. Um, but you want to switch it and see. Night, Joshua Show. No idea what I do each day, but sometimes I get lucky and fun things pop out. <laughs> You think I have a better answer than Michael? <laughs> Maybe look at the question. <laughs> <laughs> but Josh doesn't have an answer yet. Uh, it was like, my, my, like my dad later is totally different. My son, like, totally different. Um, <laughs> you still didn't have to get into that. <laughs> I'm just playing, I'm like playing down. No, but I'm gonna be this event like tomorrow. Oh, so tomorrow yeah. we're like super impressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys know it's gonna happen. <laughs> Backstage, feeling the heartbeat a little bit. I'd be like, I got all these mics on. I'm like, what? What's going on here? I mean, like the when you're like in the hospital, you have all those like IVs and things set up. Nurse, call the coroner. <gasps> Don't touch that dial, Mary Tyler Mortz. <laughs> but yeah, we're backstage, about to talk to about like a thousand people, uh, which is kind of crazy. I think about like when I put a YouTube video up and I see like these vanity metrics, a thousand people or whatever it is. And like, you don't really realize like how many people that is. And then all of a sudden they come in a room and you're like, wow, okay, that's a lot more than I than I thought. Um, so <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of people out there. Hopefully I can share a few bits of wisdom. Um, we're gonna go right after uh, Jocko, well, and Nick. So, you know, not that the uh, bar isn't gonna be set high or anything. Uh, we obviously have to bring the energy. Grant's gonna catch a bunch of clips. Maybe I'll say something smart, I don't know. Um, if I say something stupid, I'm sure I'll also put that into the vlog. So, you know, you guys will be along for the ride regardless. I've never seen the stakeholder here. I think we think about the industry as a whole. I think the biggest one that always is, is kind of constant is consumer trust. And that's always something we have to really focus on. I also think about current kind of contemporary things like maybe going on full overreach, um, things like that. And then even though I think some of the uh, heat is a little bit turned down right now, um, things around chain of tensions and things like that with our supply chain, I think that's probably the supplement industry, very important to kind of focus on. Those are things that I kind of pay attention to on a big um, side thing we look at it from a brand perspective. I think if it is, I guess like trying to cut through the noise, um, holding the attention, also just being distinct enough to um, hold a place in the consumer's heart, like that, the cost of that has increased substantially. You know, when you layer in, you know, some of the things around uh, inflation and things like that, the, the economics are quite tight at this point, so it's really difficult to talk. Any advice for us then? Yeah. Or for retail? I mean, I think, going back to what I kind of mentioned before, I think it's a matter of like, retailers, especially social media retailers, I think it's about being, making yourself essential to the process. I think, when you think about, you know, again, going back to like the efficiency of the transaction, or just like providing basic service, I think that's table stakes. I think that people want, if you, if you guys want to hold a place in the hearts of your customers and have them continuously come back, I think there needs to be some of that soul, something that like leaves something with them that they go, oh, I need to come back, I need to keep going back. So we think about when I was, well, starting out taking supplements, I mean, I think that our parents thought it was a stairway, obviously. Um, <laughs> and then, um, you know, now it seems like it's so mainstream. You also have, you know, just the, I guess, the duality, or I guess at this point, even further than that, of the trend. You have still people that are using it for muscle building, but then you have, you know, maybe an older generation that's using it for um, things that are around kind of mental brain health side of things. Um, you also, I think, are, are even seeing some of that being used in younger children as well. So I think it's kind of having this you know, wide spectrum of users, which I think is important to think about just like the trends as a whole. I mean, I, I think the trends uh, in terms of report is great. Um, I think trends as a whole, I mean, those multiple years, if not like if they become secular, they're very long term. So, that, you know, picking them out or kind of assumes not really that big of a deal. I think it really, what you need to think about is like, I guess the ear connectivity, they're not side levels. Like each one of those have play into each other. And you think about 
like condition specific probiotics or something like that. I mean, that plays into gut health, that plays into women's health, that plays into longevity. Um, just even with like the GLP-1 kind of second order effects of like what's gonna happen. That's protein. Protein could be even within you know, longevity, um, women's health, a number of those different things. So there's a lot of this like, I guess, interconnectivity and like the response is also thinking about this from like a brain side. You're gonna see them change up their marketing, their messaging a little bit. You saw that around, if you're around 2020, like everybody started to call out their immunity uh, yeah. benefits. Um, in the same way, I think you're gonna see maybe like blood uh, sugar control or, or things like that that's gonna start to be played up around that. Even though those things were always probably part of the, of the products, I think now just the importance of those um, become bigger so then brands decide, hey, we need to really put this into our communication. Well, this tr trends, I, I don't get too far into the depths of like the TikTok things, but I, I do think um, one of the things that maybe bothers me a lot is like when there's like 20 somethings that have Maybe like no kids, no real, and they have these like four or five hour like morning routines, just <laughs> and like productivity or whatever. And you're like, bro, you don't know anything. About that. It's like, I'd rather take one from like a mom of five to like sit down. So we could do that. And for those who don't know, Josh was clean out baby, so you're really feeling that yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard to even get here, but sure. It's good. Yeah, I'm just think about it, I guess you're good. Yeah. Why is everyone laughing? Oh, damn. Okay. I don't know, 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 I agree with you, but I find out who's going to see this for sure. I mean, people on Tip Hot Bunch like thinking of carpet soup. So <laughs> I guess the boringness of more like actually is interesting to a lot of people. It's true. Like, I, I sometimes go down the rabbit hole of watching people clean. <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you again so much for being here. It's a great conversation. Adrenaline is still kind of pumping a little bit. But what I'll say about myself, but what I've noticed is that I'm like, was like Allen Iverson back in the day where he was like, practice? We're talking about practice? Practice? We're talking about practice, man. I sucked yesterday just doing like my brain wasn't working and now I thought that was great. I mean, the feedback has been really good. I thought that the panelists, obviously, really good friends with both Danielle and Ben, and got to know Lisa uh, quite well over the last you know, couple of years. So, like, just the vibe of the panel was great, which I think is probably the most important part of panels because you have to know like how people are going to answer. You have to anticipate a little bit, and I think that we were able to like really kind of build off of each other, also like add layers or kind of give some unique, different takes that were like complementary to each other, or whatever. So. Hopefully the health enthusiasts and everything got a really like, good amount of value there. You know, you never know when you're creating content if it's gonna be any good or not. When you're on stage, you're just answering, maybe you black out a little bit, and then all of a sudden somebody laughs or somebody's like nodding their head in the, in the crowd. You know, if you guys are watching this and you guys were in the attendance, maybe you could drop a comment below and let us know if we uh, were good or bad. Uh, either way, you know, great for comments. I think I wanna just you know, take a, a second and kind of thank the Vitamin Shop. They were gracious enough to invite us out here, me and Grant. Um, you know, it's one of those situations where I think I maybe mentioned it on stage and just very briefly, but like when I first started in the industry 16, 17 years ago, I was an internet forum rep. Again, this is early internet days before social media. I did a bunch of different things, but like over time that company gave me more things and they had me do a bunch of like field stuff. And one of the first tasks they had me do was like go and do demos and visit vitamin shop stores. So as a 20 year old kid as an undergrad in Kent State University, like I went and visited a bunch of different regions of the vitamin shop stores. And one of the things that I always really appreciated was that they were super welcoming to somebody that was like super green, that didn't know too much, but probably thought he knew everything. And they were just like, so, you know, just awesome. And they were able to like listen to like what I was trying to say. And they were really supportive of, of somebody that was like an introverted person trying to do like like demos and, and talk to customers or, or whatever it was and, and like they were super helpful and I always like hold that in my heart because I think that that is something that you know really shines really bright within their culture of their business I think it's still you know all these years later it's still one of the biggest things that I notice when I go in and shop at the vitamin shop so you know I just want to 
you know, thank them for this opportunity. It's like a whirlwind where like, you know, all these years later now, they're asking me to be like one of the first people to speak at their brand conference. Uh, it's, it's like wild. Uh, so just super thankful for that. Just thankful for like all the hospitality and things that they've shown us. All right, we're doing, um, doing an outro. We're obviously at the airport. The experience was great. I mean, we're a little rusty. We definitely um, had a few hiccups, technical hiccups. Um, we're gonna get through it. We uh, have a couple more trips that are gonna be planned in the next couple weeks, so you guys won't have to wait huge times in between the next episode of uh, Josh and Around. I know last time we left you on a huge cliffhanger. But, um, you know, I, I don't know, I'm not the most inspirational person. This is definitely not something that, like, I know you guys watch me for, but I'm thinking about, like, what I was, you know, kind of in my mind before I left. I was just super anxious. I was, like, feeling guilty that I was leaving my wife with a newborn, a month old, and I just was like, I don't know. I just was like, should I be doing this? Am I ready for this? Am I whatever? And I think what this trip proved is something that, you know, a good buddy of mine, uh, Dan Lorenzo, once uh, I think famously said in one of his ghost vlogs. Like, Travel puts life in perspective, in my opinion. And although you can make the argument that some of these meetings could have been accomplished by Skype, nothing is going to ever replace hand delivering new product fresh off the line or sampling new concepts or brainstorming or just breaking bread and spending time. Like in a world that's gone so digital, I just think that's so, so important. You know, sometimes you just like, you have to show up. You just have to be there. You never know what's gonna happen. Like you gotta, you gotta meet sometimes people in person, you gotta shake their hands. You gotta, you gotta be able to like have that interaction. I think that that's invaluable um, with your partners. You know, I've, I've worked with the vitamin shop for, for years. I know a lot of the executive leadership team um, and we've always had like Zoom calls and, and things like that. I never actually had had a chance to, to meet a lot of them. So just being able to like shake hands and, and, and have an actual conversation, I think was extremely useful. Who knows where and how that kind of comes up. And that's not really my worry, but I think the important part is like, sometimes you're not gonna feel like you want to be, you know, doing some of these things. Like sometimes it just doesn't feel right, or maybe it's just your brain messing with you. Um, but I assure you that if you just like consistently show up in anything in life, it's gonna be extremely beneficial to you. So I know that was like a weird ending to this one, but I'll go back to like our normal, uh, you know, smash the uh, thumbs up, um, subscribe, uh, you know, whatever else, other stupid things you're supposed to do as a YouTuber. Uh, but we're gonna be back soon enough. Um, hopefully show you guys some new interesting stuff very soon. But I just wanna thank you guys for watching this one.